apparently uh, somebody's been coming on my live streams, uh, harassing me and slandering, uh, slandering me. Um, you know, and I have a pretty good suspicion on who this is. Uh, so that's why I had to cancel the live stream because this person was continuously harassing me and spamming. And not only was he harassing me, but he was spamming and harassing the people on my live streams, on my uh, on my live chats. So I think I have a pretty good idea who this individual is. Uh, I'm not going to say his name, but uh, I think I know this person has some kind of weird obsession with me and has been jealous of me ever since I started this YouTube channel. I think I know who it is, and I'm going to be contacting the police um, next time he uh, next time he comments on uh, my uh, comments on my channel. Uh, but uh, basically, this person has been uh, spamming me with some of the comments James White has made about me. Now, really, really quickly, um, I had the misfortune of encountering James White. Uh, you know, and my personal impression with him is he's. I don't know how to describe it. He's literally, he, he's, I don't know. He's, he's an old, he's an old asshole. He's, he's a, he's a kid stuck in an old man's body. And the, I've never seen a, a man his age act, act like a, act like a kid. You know, basically James White is a, is a kid stuck in the old man's body. I don't know if that's the best way I can describe him. Um, you know, so basically this is a, this is a crazy old man who is not a scholar, who has no credentials, who hangs out with kids 35 years younger than him or 40 years younger than him, who probably has some gay obsessions with kids like kids. You know, I'm talking about kids, like like Muslim college kids, kids who are 22, no, 30 years younger than him. He develops some kind of gay obsession with these kids. So I think James White is uh, not only is he perverted, but I think he's like gay, too. He's got some weird obsession with like younger kids. Uh, and this really, really creeps me out. Uh, he's like he's a man in his 50s and. Uh, you know, he develops weird gay obsessions with, with, with kids, with Muslim kids who are much younger than him. So the man is an old, the, the man is an old, demented, a, he's a bitter old man who's jealous of people like Bart Ehrman. Bart Ehrman's like up here, James White is like down here. Um, you know, so James White is just an old pervert. He's jealous. He's jealous of people like Bart Ehrman. Uh, you know, not only that, so I, but I think James White needs professional help because of his weird obsessions, with a, because of his gay obsessions with not only like Muslim college kids, but he's got some gay obsessions with people like Bart Ehrman, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So James White's a freak, um, you know, so ignore what he says about me. But anyways, getting back to this person who's been um, harassing me, uh, I'm going to go to the police. I had to stop the live streams because he was just basically, you know, spamming and harassing everybody on the live stream. But basically, uh, I'm going to be going to the police um, with this, uh, with this, with his messages, and I'm going to be reporting him. So, uh, you know, so YouTube, I reported all those statements to YouTube as harassment and bullying. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, hopefully YouTube will shut this person down or take care of them. But see, this is the problem with doing live streams because if I do live streams, I have to cut out the live chats because if I don't cut out the live chats, people are going to spam me and people are going to start, uh, you know, harassing not only me, but they're going to harass the, the, the people on my, uh, uh, the people on my channel. So I don't want that. Right. So now it's become like, now I can't even do live streams because people are because this person's been harassing me because apparently they have nothing better to do. They have no life than to keep, you know, creeping on me and following me around on the internet and, you know, stalking me. So basically this person has some kind of weird obsession with me, uh, you know, so I'm going to be contacting uh, the, the police uh, regarding this uh, issue. So basically, you know, if you're a Muslim apologist, stay away from people like James White, uh, you know, because he's got some, weird 
gay obsessions with young Muslim college kids who are much younger than him. Like, you know, if I was James White's age, what is he, like 50 years old now? If I was James White's age, I would stay away from, you know, kids who are much younger than me. But James White, being the old perv that he is, has some weird obsession with these with these kids who are much younger than him. Um, I, th- I think the reason why is but I think he, he feels the need he wants to control them. See, the thing about James White is, you know, his dad sexually harassed or sexually abused his, his sister. That's why he behaves like a child uh, because, you know, he never got out of that trauma of his father sexually abusing his sister. So basically, you know, that's the awful and creepy truth about James White. He's a nasty old man. He's a nasty gay old man who's got some weird uh, inferiority complexes. So he hangs out with kids much younger than him and develops gay obsessions with him. His gay obsession with Ijaz Ahmad and people like Bassam Zawadi is very, very disturbing, to say the least. Um, you know, so the old man is, uh, the old man is, an, uh, he's a creep, he's a creepy old man, um, you know, who just, uh, who's a very insecure, I've never seen a more, like, insecure and, I've never seen a creepier and insecure old man than James White, he is literally an old creep, uh, so let the, let the old man fade away, like, don't engage with James White, he's the bottom of the barrel, Bart Ehrman's up here, James White's, like, down here. You know, so, you know, go for the, go for the top, go, go for the, go for the top and don't go for the lowest of the low, which is James White. But anyways, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be, uh, uh, reporting this person to the police and hopefully they stop harassing me on my uh, live chats. I'm sorry I had to cancel the live chats, but see, this is the way how things are going now. Um, you know. Uh, so I'm sorry about that, but we had some good Q. We had some good questions until that person uh, came along. Stay tuned.